So we're fishery management plans, um, re the requirement for fishery management plans, has that worked well for the state of North Carolina and for commercial fishermen? I, I think it's, it's worked well f for, uh, for the resource and as such have worked, has worked well as far as the big picture is concerned for commercial fishermen. Um, I, I say that generally speaking. Um, the, the, you know, you never, when, when you're talking about science, you, you'd think it'd be black and white, but it, it's not black and white. Has the reduction in the size of the Marine Fisheries Commission, was that a good move back with the Fisheries Reform Act? And you mentioned that there's a movement afoot now to reduce it even more. Well, I think the reduction to nine uh, was a good one. The problem isn't the number, it's with the appointments. Uh, you know, you have three recreational and three commercial, um, then you have two at large. Well, the at large, if you, you know, there, that language probably needs to be tightened up a little bit, maybe a lot. If you, if you are obviously qualified to sit in a commercial fishing seat, you shouldn't sit in an at large seat. Uh, if you obviously, uh, qualify to sit as a recreational fisherman. You shouldn't sit in a large seat. That should be reserved for somebody that's a consumer, that's a chef, that has an interest in, has shown an interest in in these issues, but but not one that qualifies to sit in one of the other seats. And, because that can be, that that can be abused and certainly has been abused of late. The advisory committee process established by the Fishers Reform Act, um, has that worked well? Well, that depends who you ask. I've seen some recreational folks that uh, don't think so and some uh, commercial folks that don't think so. Um, they are, after all, advisory, which, I mean, they're, the commission doesn't have to take. Uh, their recommendations, but um, again, it depends on how those advisory panels are made up, and that's up to the chairman. Um, that's why the the chairman's position is is so important. Uh, I think that those advisory panels are extremely important, uh, but when you have an advisory panel that appears to be well balanced, and yet the commission appears to ignore. I mean, in other words, they have their minds made up. The problem we have there is perception. And currently, we have a commission that has, that allegedly has violated open meetings laws. Well, when you're doing that, you, you, there's not a lot of faith in the process. I don't have any faith in that process, not when they're violating the law. And do your members have faith in that process? No, no, not as it's currently is. It's as bad now as I've ever seen it.